Thanks for visiting. Here's the easy Indian recipe for Band Gobi Matar, which literally translates to closed cauliflower and peas, or you can call it cabbage and peas. It's amazingly simple and super tasty. Who knew you could use cabbage for anything beyond coleslaw? You'll need half a large cabbage cut into strips, about three-fourths of a cup of peas, a one-inch piece of ginger cut into small pieces, and about a half a green chili diced. You can do an entire chili if you want it spicier. You'll also need a half a teaspoon cumin seeds, a quarter teaspoon each of coriander powder, turmeric powder, and chili powder, and about a half a teaspoon of salt. You want to cut the cabbage into long strips the way my mom's doing for me. And then you're going to cut each of those strips down into thirds. I've heated up my pan to medium high. I add my butter, wait for that to melt, and then add in my ginger. And I'm going to brown this ginger. Also, keep in mind you can use oil or ghee. I just ran out of everything. Then I add my diced green chilies and warm them up. And then it's time for the cumin. And once again, we wait for this cumin to sputter because that's a cue that we can move on to our next step, which is to add some coriander powder, some turmeric, and chili powder. I'm going to mix it up just for a couple of seconds. Spices burn very, very quickly. So as soon as it's all mixed together, I'm going to add my cabbage. And it's time for the cabbage. I simply drop it in until all the cabbage is coated. Whoops, forgot the peas. Add the peas and then mix it all up. Actually, I forgot one more step. At this point, you could add some salt, which I do a little bit later on, but go ahead and do it in the beginning. It'll save you some time. So there's the salt. Mix it in. And that's it. Now we're just going to cover for about six or seven minutes, maybe eight, and then check back. Unbelievable. It's done. I like the cabbage a bit crispy. If you want to cook it longer, go ahead, but you're going to end up with soggy cabbage. So if you like it crispy too, I'd say this is it. You can serve it with whatever you'd like, and trust me, it came out really tasty. For the complete recipe and to leave me your comments, visit me at theeasyindian.com.